Good day, everybody. We have a piece of black walnut here. Thinking about doing a hollowing, but we'll see how it turns out. We've got a big old knot right here where I've got it uh, woodworm screwed in. And then we got this little tree branch knot right here as well. So <clears throat> let's see what we're going to make out of it. And get things going. And let's kick it. Get this cleaned up right here, and I'll bring you back. All right, we're back. We've got it flipped over. Got some CA in here now holding it. We're going to hollow this out. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it a pot and hollow a big hole out, or a hollowing with just a little one. A hollowing, yes. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see. I'm halfway tempted for this part to go away. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. There we go, we're starting to finally come through. Solid here. Starting to get, come out the here then. That's good. All right. Alright, I'm going to change the batteries out, I'll bring you back. I went ahead and changed the angle as well. This should be a little bit better for what we're doing. Yep.
Now we have sanding to do. I'll work on the outside first and then we'll work on the inside. Get this set up and bring it back. Okay, we're back and it's time for sanding. I wanted to leave as much as I could up here and on the inside. I want it in the end, I really did want this to happen because I don't really get many of them to where the outsides have a hole through it to where you can see inside. I want to try that. So this was my first attempt, I believe, my first attempt at it. So let's go ahead and get some sanding done and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> Hey everybody, we're back and as you can see, we've got a slight design change. I uh, decided, took a vote actually on my Facebook page, CJ's Woodworks, and took a picture of it, see if anybody wanted to keep the wings that I had out here, the slight wings that went across to have more bark on the top. Uh, majority of the people said no, uh, round it off, so I figured I'll give it a shot and luckily I was still able to keep a good amount of bark through here. I was worried about this piece. That was one of the reasons why I didn't, that I kept the, the wings out is because I was worried about this. <clears throat> so uh, we did it and it worked. I resanded the 600 and got a nice little two coats of uh, sanding sealer on it. I'm going to grab some 600 grit real fast knock some of that off and then we will uh, throw some poly on it make it nice and shiny smooth this out a little bit I'm liking this new, this uh, the new design with it. I really am. I'm glad I asked people what they thought about it. Let's wipe this down. Not bad, not bad. Get a little coat of polyurethane on it see what it looks like first little coat soaking in still and I don't think it's looking too bad that's a light little pass on it and get a little bit more polyurethane in this little container. I just got finished doing some finishes on a couple other items. And they're all under the in the little dust chamber that I got. Well, I call it a dust chamber, but it's really not. Uh, it's just a little tent. I try to keep whatever dust I can off and keep the humidity down. I got a little light heat lamp in there. And I will go over the bark with a, a brush. Especially this end grain is really soaking it up right here. So this is going to take a couple coats, wet sanding and everything else. Let me get this little brush. These little black chip brushes, best thing to do, 
is pinch them some more as tight as you can because even when I do this I'll get some little hairs pop off but nowhere near as much as if you don't do it and then I just take and pull on it try to get whatever loose ones I got get in these little cracks and crevices and plus my wife didn't like all the moss that I had on it so I went ahead and got some of that off well 95% of it And I'll let this thing dry overnight, if not two nights. And let it cure really good, and then I'll do a wet sand on it. Yep, yep, I see one of those black hairs right there. Yep, got it. Oh, no, it didn't. That's going to bug me. There we go. Got that little bugger. Alright. This bark will soak it up too. See how that end grain's already soaked some of that in there? So I'll let it dry and then I'll put another coat over top of it. And I'll get the inside done, but this is what I'll be doing for a bit. And I'll bring you back when I'm all done and go from there. Okay, we are back with our hollowing. I've got enough done on the uh, polyurethane to where I can do a, a light sanding, wet sanding with my hand by hand and not put it on the machine. So I'm going to go ahead and take the tenon off. And what I did is I ended up making a, a jam chuck for the top over here, which I can show you now. I've got everything lined up and marked so it doesn't hurt to do this. But took the hole created the jam chuck, gave it a little bit of space. I still wanted to have some protection, so I put a little non-slip cloth in there, and I went to the center of the tenon, the best I could with it. Just give it enough pressure, you don't want to break anything. Now we have it, I'm pushing at about 460 let me go up a little bit I'm gonna probably I'm gonna hit 600 and see how that goes with it and then just nibble away <laughs> I'm not pressing too hard into it because I don't want to break the top. see how that's got us sitting right now all right I'm gonna try to push in this direction see what I can do before I switch to a different gouge I just don't want to go too deep
All right, I'm gonna switch gals to a more of a fingernail, or more of a uh, shallow spindle gal. Something smaller I can get in there with. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna start rubbing the bevel a little bit. Pushing in a little bit with it and slowing the speed down. I'm doing a Phil Anderson type and I've gotten a little bit better at it, but I really don't want to mess this piece up. But there we go. And the bottom's pretty smooth. We'll take a little bit of sanding. But we did it. And then there's our bottom. And yes, we're going to need to do a little bit of sanding with it, but it turned out pretty good. We can do some touch up by hand to get the rest of it taken care of. We do have some roughness on the inside. A lot of that just I could not get to, and the wood was not cutting as good as I was trying. I tried different tools and everything, and sanding just was not happening either because of this. So uh, we will figure something out the next time I try one of these so I'll go ahead and get this sanded up finished up and uh, get pictures